Hi, and happy Monday. This is a bit on Banishing Fear by Rebetzin Esther Youngrice from the book The Committed Life. So in the book of Exodus, God trained us to trust him by providing for us our daily bread being the manna. Strangely, the Torah not only refers to the manna as a test, but also an affliction. How can we understand this if God's giving us our daily bread? I, without us having to work for it, we would see that as a blessing. The manna was one of the most severe ordeals that our forefathers experienced because the manna had to be gathered daily. If we took more than our daily share, it would become disgusting. God wanted to train us in trust. Trust in God implies that you rely on him to provide for your needs each and every day. As it says in God's fall, day by day. Trust implies that you place your confidence in God and do not allow your insecurities and greed to control your life. So the antithesis of trust is fear. So trust really is the credo of our faith. Fear is futile, counterproductive, and it paralyzes us. It saps us of our energies and it robs us of precious time. What's more, if we take a good hard look at ourselves, we will realize that 99% of the things we worry about never materialize. So if we look back on our lives and realize all the time we wasted worrying about what could be or what might be, we would feel devastated at the thought we had squandered God's most precious gift to us. The days of our lives. Let's take a lesson from the mana and rely upon God to provide for us each and every day. So this can be, sustenance can be food, it can be um, comfort, it can be safety, and as we know what's going on in the world right now, there's a lot going on in the world right now, we could have fears and doubts of what's to be in the future, but something that we have to exercise is trusting that God has a plan that is beyond human comprehension and this doesn't mean that we have to shut our hearts out to the pain of ourselves or those around us because you know prayer is powerful and our efforts do matter we do what we can do but ultimately as we see in different patterns of history as well sometimes it's darkest before the dawn and we don't know the calculations of an infinite creator but we have to let go and um and it says actually in the base halevi that our fear can cause something to happen so this shouldn't create more anxiety i know when i first read that it freaked me out a little bit but the lesson that i chose to to take from it is that as the labava Revi says think good and it will be good um again doesn't mean that we have to be heartless to human suffering or what's going on in the world but know that God, as it says repeatedly throughout the Torah, is a compassionate and merciful God who wants the best for us. And in the same way that a child doesn't necessarily know why a parent won't let them eat candy before bed, the more intelligent and loving, merciful parent isn't doing so to be cruel, but rather is doing so so that the child doesn't get cavities or a sugar rush before bed. So we should all continue to strengthen our trust and release the burden and pressure of thinking that we're in control, that we have to do much more than we have to do what we can, but know that God is lovingly in control of our lives and that of the world. Take care.